This is the beach where I first saw a killer whale, and I saw them again this week. Content warning, there's some brutal footage involved. I witnessed an event unlike anything I've ever seen this week, and it was a privilege, but it also made my heart ache. I've always found marine life fascinating, and living at the coast means I get to experience it on a much closer level. But I did not expect to experience what I did. Lately we've had a lot of killer whale sightings. It's exciting because we don't have resident killer whales here on the Oregon coast. They come through, the transient groups do, and we get to see them sometimes, but we don't have them here all the time. So when they arrive, it's kind of a big deal. It sounded like they were staying in the same area, and I thought, you know what? This is my chance. I'll head north. They've been heading south all day. If they leave that area, there's a good chance maybe they'll still head south and I might still see them. I didn't know what I was getting into. When I arrived to the location, I could tell that there was far more than five orcas out there and there was also two gray whales. I could see them out in the water and there was just motion and splashing and chaos. Before I could lift my lens, I saw three orca and they were in synchronization just up and out of the water breaching and then diving back down and it was just awe-inspiring. But then the realization sets in of what's happening. And I could see that there was a hunt going on. There was a mother whale, a gray whale, and she was trying to protect her calf. The orcas would circle and they would surround it and they would dive and they would run into it and ram it. It looked like chaos and yet it was completely organized. You could tell that this is something that they are born to do. They know how to work inherently together. I could see that the calf was struggling. It looked like the mom was getting tired too. When I decided to do something I'd always hoped to do, I tossed my drone up into the air in hopes that I could gather some footage of the whales from above. I kept a good distance. I fly a small drone that actually doesn't even classify as a drone. It's a Mini 3 Pro. And I launched it out. And as soon as the whales came into view, my heart sank. Nature is incredible, but it is brutal. And I could see in that instance, as my drone approached, the calf was no longer alive. It's part of the circle of life. Seeing the mother with the body of her calf, I stared at the remote of my drone and I choked up. As people caught on to the fact that I was filming it, they came to look over my shoulders to see the footage that I was capturing. And while some people were cheering because they could see splashes and it was exciting to see these orcas out in the surf and they're, they're you know, hunting and they're working together, the people that were nearby me could see that in the midst of this incredible moment that we were witnessing, we were also witnessing a tragedy. I said aloud at one point during the time that I was filming, that the time my drone was out was, I was always wanting to get to have a moment like this, but now I have regrets because you can see tenderness and love in these creatures. You can see care and compassion because this mother gray whale in her loss, in her fight to try to save herself and to save her baby, her baby who was no longer alive, she still stayed by its side. She still stayed close to try to protect its body as these predators still came in and wanted to try to take it from her. They would work together to try to maneuver between the gray whale mother and the baby to try to guide it away. They succeeded a couple of times, but she would still follow and persist and try to again get herself back by her baby. There's several times during my footage where, when I was filming and now as I rewatch it, you can see that she gets up under her baby with her, her head and she tries to lift it to the surface. I envision this longing of just one more breath, baby. Just one more breath. I witnessed the orcas, these killer whales, killing whales. And as much as they're taking a life, they are also sustaining it in the process. Because I have to look at the whole picture that the 
for sure nine whales that I saw, that there was two young ones in there, that this family group is working not to terrorize, but to sustain. That their young need food. But it's not pretty. People question, why would this be shared? It's part of our world. This incredible place. We have this ocean out here. This is where I've seen orcas. I've seen gray whales. The ocean is a huge part of our entire existence, whether or not we realize it. And our day-to-day -day lives can impact it so much. I hope that in sharing these stories of these wonderful, incredible creatures, that people take time to consider how their lives reach to the oceans, what kind of choices they make that impact them. Because while creatures in the ocean might take life, the ocean itself gives it. Nature isn't always pretty, and it's difficult to see these moments. Yet it's these kind of opportunities that show us how a mother's love reaches far greater than the human species. It's these moments that teach us that communication and teamwork is not exclusively a human trait. It's moments like these that connect us with the wildlife around us. I hope by sharing my footage and the images that I captured, that we find ourselves reminded of how absolutely interconnected we are with the world around us. And I hope that even despite how difficult the content is, that it's a reminder of how incredible this world really is.